What's up, everyone? It's Jose here, and I'm back in with another Dragon Ball Universe 2 update video. And today I have with me some friends, M Post Gamer, as you know, we've done some videos with him already before. So he's stuff we did in air. And Anime Gamer. And today it's about the transformations, the new transformations that came out. What's it called? How many days was that ago? Did you guys know how long that ago? Because I remember it was two or three days. Uh, it was about, it was like, I believe, three days. Three. Yeah, about three days. I wasn't able to make this video earlier because um, I was actually on a trip that day when it came out, and I wasn't anywhere near to make, make this video. And I was going to make it yesterday because I didn't have these guys with me. I kind of have them with me to um, Scott make it more interesting to so get other people's opinions other than just mine. And so we'll start off with um, we already know about the Saints, the Saint One, Two, Three, and how this trend no, was caught. Found out I said the film, but we saw that the Frieza Frieza has a transformation, and the transformation that they have is the golden form that Frieza has when he first when he reappeared in Resurrection F. Now, what do you guys think about that? Uh, well, as for the golden forms, I wasn't really expecting um the Frieza race to have uh golden forms, more like of maximum power potential, sort of like how Frieza was when he yeah. fought Goku on Planet Namek, but. Regardless, it's still pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, it is. What about you, Impulse? I actually like it. I thought, like, maybe, like, they'll come without the five transformations that like Frieza originally did, like, in the move, like, in the actual Dragon Ball Z. Oh, <laughs> yeah. No, I my emphasis on this transformation is, I was kind of not expecting it either. Those could be, like, like, like another form, like, you can transform into, I don't know, like, make your own kind of transformation that Frieza does, like with the, like, I don't know, alien ditto form he has, or like the, the little horn test um, form he has, you probably like make your own kind of transformation and like that, that's how you can do that, maybe in full power. But I wasn't really expecting building form like that, and um, it kind of surprised me, and you just saw, I think the transformations in this game works a little bit differently, because I think the transformations in this game are going to be how, you know how racist in the first game had stats versus those racist like, Saiyans have like increased strength and stuff. We just had like speed and all that stuff. Yeah. You know how they had that? Mm -hmm. Well, I yeah. see like how they really grew into, really into golden form. It got way faster. Like all its moves, like even its key moves and its regular moves got super fast, not just its regular speed. Which is really um, it's surprising. So I think it's going to more, when you transform, you transform into like, um, let's say you have. Like you just transform into your your racist stats, like get boosted more other than your other stats. But maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. We don't know until the game actually comes out. But other than that, that's what we know for that. And just because the golden, just because these races have golden forms, I feel like Sane should have the God form. That's what it's happened. What do you guys feel about that? Yeah. Like just because they have golden form, because Golden Frieza, when he came back in the Generation F, was able to handle um, Goku. Not so much as a Vegeta, because um, he was already like kind of tired out. But I feel like he probably could have held Vegeta a little bit if he had, if he was making up what he did with Goku. But he was he was able to hold up against Super Saiyan Blue for a very good amount. So do you guys think you should have had Super Saiyan God in this game, or if you're gonna have it in this game? I do. I think uh, we have it. Yeah, I think we should have Super Saiyan God, but it all depends on how they're gonna um balance, balance it. Out. Yeah, and uh, they did say if we send a lot of feedback, they would find a way to put it in. But uh, that's what that's true too. Yeah, but I'm not really certain of that. It just seems. Yeah, bad. guys, you heard it here. If you want something got in this game really, really bad, you better you know a whole bunch of feedback. Get everybody to send some feedback because we need that. We need to fill the rest of the saying gods here. I was going to say one thing. That, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, not only that, but the views, the, whoa, whoa, that's not how you say it. The blue race, the Majin blue race, um, can turn into the kid blue or the pure blue. Yeah, they're you know, pure. You know about Dragon Ball Online? They had the um, thing in which the Dragon Balls, like how the same Earth and Earth and Earth and the Earth and Super Saiyan and all that stuff. Um, you could go to the pure state of the new blues, the kid blue. 
uh, I don't know if this is like this is gonna make your own skinny boo or is it gonna look like all the boos are like fat from the last game, so maybe not. But hopefully you can have um boos a skinny boo, but again it can turn to Majin Boo. But it seems like you turn to the same Majin Boo but he's just recolored, like it's not the same um Majin it's not your like it's not like a different type of Majin Boo, it's like it's like a recolored version of Kid Boo. How do you guys feel about that? Do you think it's gonna be like a recolored version of Kid Boo, or it would be the customized Kid Boo form? Or whatever? Dude, what do you guys feel like? Because this is gonna be the most detailed game. Uh, about yet, but I'm not really sure like what's gonna go on. So what do you guys feel about the Majin Boo transformation? I so think with the Majin Boo transformation, like they mostly probably will look the same, just a different color, depending on what color you had your Majin. Like they didn't really go into detail on how they would look. They look mostly the same. What about you, um, anime? Uh, how I feel about the, uh, transformations of, um, the margins. I really thought you could, like, absorb, like, let's say, um, instead of having, like, the pure form, I would have thought you would have been able to, like, absorb somebody else's character and have, like, their costume and stuff, sort of like how Bajin Buu did to Gotenks and Gohan and stuff like that. But having the pure oh, form and all that is still pretty cool, though. Yeah. Well, talking about your um your absorption. Yeah, they they have absorption. I don't think you can actually absorb somebody's character because you know if you absorb them, that means you pretty much beat them, you know. So maybe if you have that absorption thing, maybe like you probably like grab the character. Like it's starts to me you probably have to grab the character and absorb their energy. And you have all their stuff on you. Maybe that would work yeah. for absorption. Because if you absorb them, that means you pretty much beat them, you know. <laughs> So maybe you could just absorb the powers, but I don't think it's gonna be in the game. But that would be really cool. If that was in the game. Like maybe you could add yeah. the powers and things like that. So it could be updating updating things like a whole thing. Think about man. Just like that. Be back. But hopefully, might just get super transformation too. Because hopefully they get the super food transformation because most of the games, I'm pretty sure most of the generation, most of us may have more than one transformation. Maybe maybe at least two. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on this. But I know they all have at least one. Even Earthlings. Just probably would be like potential unleash, not potential unlocks. I know everybody could unlock, maybe potential unleash because potential unlocks already in the game. What I mean by already in the game, I mean everybody gets potential unlock in the story, I believe. Because as you see, um, Grand Elder Guru is holding his head over your head and he unlocks your potential, and that's for everybody, I believe. Because you see a saying who's getting their unlock potential, yeah, to get them more stronger. So I'm pretty sure it's not a transformation, but more of a boost that you get in the game making more strong, powerful, not a transformation. So I'm pretty sure Earthlings probably get like a, like a unleash or something like that, some kind of transformation like, unique to themselves. Or maybe they might even get super saiyan, I don't know, because maybe they could have to half breathe in the end during my line. I don't know. Because that'd be pretty cool if they can go super saiyan, because you know, they could know how that, um, that um, interview thing, and, and the thing, they talk about this. They said, in the description, they said, she makes me go super saiyan 3. Now, originally, that was a typo. They came back and said, sorry, only two minutes we're not going to do Super Saiyan that's only saying, but she minutes we had a lot of surprises that would be revealed in the near future. Which is like, oh, okay, maybe they might have Super Saiyan just because of you know, the Dragon Z logic about how in the future humans have, like, you know, contaminated Saiyan blood and all that crap. But I'm not sure, maybe that won't happen, but they have surprises that are coming up. So humans will have transformations. So our people get the transformations for Earthlings and um, the McGinn's. Just because we didn't see them yet, doesn't mean that they're not there. They are going to have transformations. Don't worry about that stuff. They are going to have transformations. I don't know who they are yet. So maybe they're going to have Spirit or Great Number I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's all we can talk about for the transformations that we know about for us for right now. Do you have any of you guys can comment on that stuff as of right now? Uh, as for Earthlings, I feel like Earthlings are going to have like a lot more to offer than just Super Saiyans and maybe Golden Forms. Maybe they'll have a lot more things that will make players want to pick them. Because yeah, in the sure. last game, everybody picked for Saiyan and some for Freezer Race, but it, barely anybody picked the other races. Mostly it was humans out to get in neglected, but maybe this time around people will see that humans are a lot more cooler than they used to be. Yeah, yeah, because... Um... In the last game, believe it or not, I believe humans, I know a lot of people believe this, but humans were actually the strongest race in the game, but we didn't choose them in the very beginning because, you know, they saw the Saiyans, they had a lot of Saiyans, and they could turn Super Saiyan, or they saw the yeah. Freezer Race, and like, oh crap, it's a Freezer Race, you can play as Freezer. 
um, or maybe even like you know Blue races are different because they didn't think humans had a lot of offer because you no know, like you no know, humans asked for like Yamcha or Krillin or Tien even though like, even though Krillin's a freaking god <laughs> um, yeah he's not so I don't care what you say humans are freaking god um, so they didn't really choose Earthlings like that but like, after they went away and made their Earthlings after they beat the game stuff. They realized that it was actually really, really powerful because they were balanced and they had all this stuff they had to offer, even though they had the transformation on like, so they had like a lot of strength inside their characters. So I believe if Earthlings are like they were in the last game, even if the Golden Races and the Super Saiyan crap and all the blue stuff, they might still be the most powerful race in the game if they're like if there's anything that they were in the last game. Do you agree with me or do you feel anything about that? Uh Mm. Uh, I agree with you on that part, but I don't really. Yeah. What about you, Impulse? You've been quite, you've been kind of quiet. <laughs> oh, I was focusing. Like, in my own opinion, I feel like humans are mad OP. They should be mad OP in the next game, also. <sighs> okay. That was my oh, favorite one race. more thing about the transformation for Boo. If you guys noticed, um, when they showed the transformation for Blue Thing, um, there was a thing um, where he just, like, when he, when he was flying, he just flew right into it and you got pushed away, like, you got hit by him just flying right into it. Yeah, right? I noticed that too. That, that's, like, super so OP. Like, yeah, so you see, like, how in the first game they had, like, that armor when they got hit, like, the tank armor? I think the yeah. um, Blues in this thing are, like, way more tankier. Like they have like they're more like a like a built tank. So you know how they're making the game like more into an RPG MMO if they're trying to make it like that. Yeah. I feel like they're making it, like more like that. So like I guess like three just like three races like that assassin race that like those rogue and assassin races that are like super fast and they hit you. Like, you know how like assassin and rogues in RPG and RPG MMO is like super fast and they hit you really, really fast. Like I feel like future races like the rogues or assassin of the of the game. And Saiyans are like the like straight up fighter type people that just like fight you. Yeah, with, pure um, attack. Maybe like two handed or like one handed short people who like straight up fight you. And then like the um Majin Buu's are like the tanks. And then like the um Megan's like the like, killers because they have like a whole bit of health and crap. And then the Earth is like the one like like mixed kind of like ranger like mixed type of field that has like all the stuff inside them already that has all the races inside them, you know? Maybe, maybe the game's yeah. kind of like that. Maybe that's how the game's kind of built. Because if you notice, that Majin Buu is kind of really tanky. And those future races are really, really fast. And those Saiyans did a, put a hell of a lot of um, damage output. So I feel like maybe that's how the game's kind of built in a way. How, what do you guys think about that? Is this like how the game's like to built? Well, to be honest, I could already see all the um crazy builds that everybody's going to make for each race. Like... For um the freezer race, they're gonna have like a lot. Like they're probably gonna have like a Zeso that increases your speed with um a move that also increases your speed. And Majins are just gonna be pure tanks. Like it, it's just gonna be all chaos. Like with the builds and everything. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna stop you right there though. Um, you said Zeso. I want to remind you. These souls aren't in the game anymore. They're now Oh, super I keep souls. on forgetting Super exactly Souls, Super how, Souls. Yeah, we don't know exactly how Super Souls are going to work in this game. We don't know if they're going to be different from these souls. You know, these souls are kind of broken in the last game. They're so, probably I just going to be like power-ups. Like, yeah, they're probably going to be like power-ups. Like, when you power up, they give you like more damage output. Because you know when they, like, people like get to the stream out like power-up or something, they got more of a damage output and stuff and these souls are activated. So that's what I feel like, not these but Super Souls, sorry. <laughs> still these things Super Souls. I'm just thinking what you were. Yeah, super souls. Um, but yeah, going back to the whole transformation um, RPG element thing, I wanted to see what inputs they give about the whole um, assassin, um, fighter, and rogue and all that stuff. Um, thing that I was talking about. How do you feel about that um, impulse? Well, I don't know how to answer that one. <laughs> of course, impulse. <laughs> okay. Now, other than that, you have a few things that I want to throw into this video about the new, the new details on the story and save that. Save data features. Okay, um, I'm gonna be reading this probably straight off from Saiyan Island, so I guess where my um, information from Saiyan Island. So I'm